you guys. My out of town guests arrive the day after tomorrow. And I am nowhere near done. At this point, I'm ready to throw my hands up in the air and cancel Christmas. I'm fly, you fly, we fly so high. Oh my, they fly. We fly, you fly, we fly so high. If folks didn't have plane tickets, I would. The house is nowhere near where I want it to be. The maids can't come until, well they wanted to come tomorrow, but I've got too much to do all morning tomorrow. So I'm like, this is what happens when you schedule stuff at the last minute. This is what happens. So now they can't come until the day after tomorrow the same time that my first out of town guest is supposed to arrive like how the maid's gonna be there like that's terrible y'all I don't know this is looking like it's gonna be the worst Christmas that I've done in a long time so where am I going now to the gym because I absolutely refuse to give up on that I can't I gotta keep something right but Y'all, I'm about to throw my hands up in the air and be done with all of it. It's just going to be what it is. Whatever it is, it's what it's going to be. And we'll see. All right, got to run. Got an appointment at the gym. All right, I'm a little bit early, but here's why I'm feeling like I'm ready to throw everything, throw my hands up in the air and cancel everything. Because I don't like doing stuff at the last minute. Like, the maid should not be at the house cleaning when folks are when folks are arriving like that should already be done i'm st okay i can i can finish my decorations today um but that should have been done a long long time ago but i was flying like so much the last couple months yeah i can't be in two and three places at one time at the same time, I should say. Um, so I was flying so much. And then when I'm done flying, like, I'm tired. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I need at least 24 hours of doing nothing after I get off an airplane. More than that, it depends on how much I'm actually flying. I should be... I should be baking today, baking my cookies today, because that's something that I do every year. I still haven't made my coquito. Like, that should be in the refrigerator. Y'all. Y'all just don't know. This might be my last Christmas. Mmm, <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Or I just need to hire like a handyman or somebody to come help me. There's a thought. Anyway, let me get out this car and get in the gym. And maybe I'll feel better after this workout. Oh, gosh. All right, bye. I don't know how I like my cut. You cut? I don't know if I like it. The, the, the more low um, tapered. And no, I think she left. I like. I actually, I wish it was more tapered. More, oh, low. Yeah, I, I wish it was lower. Yeah, she was your like, tips. I love your highlights. Your I'm like, hips are right there. And they're not highlights. I, exactly. <laughs> I was like, they're not highlight. They were like, well, you got to tell me what color you use. I was like, I don't use color. It's bleach. <laughs> no, but it is. The toner is a color. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, I lied? Oh, wait. Okay, so tell, tell them what it is. So the toner the toner is what toner You know what? I can't play this anyway. It's got oh, music yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead. Go ahead real quick. The toner is the color. It actually tones. Because um, when your hair is lifted this color, I can actually make this purple if I wanted to. 
Oh, really? It's just to bring everything closer to one color. Okay. Yeah, but we're not going for purple. We're going for purple. We're going for this. Yeah, platinum, yeah. <laughs> Went to get my hair bleached y'all this is a process so chad did this like he did he did this i don't know it was two or three weeks ago now and the my new growth was drastically different than the old stuff that had been bleached before so we have to do it we had to do it again today and one thing that I love about Chad is he's always going to like look out for your, for your, the health of your hair first and foremost. So he's not going to try to bleach it, bleach it, bleach it to get the color and then your hair starts falling out. Like I've been blonde now all summer and I have a very little shedding, no more shedding than I normally would even if my hair wasn't bleached. So that just means that I got to be patient and I'm not going to be the color that I want at all times. Like, it's, it's a process. So, we thought we were going to just do one more um, process today. But, no, looks like... Oh, that lighting is terrible. I'm in a parking garage because I'm getting my nails done now. But, anyway, um, I'm going to go back to Chad, basically. So... We thought we would just do one more processing and it's still, it didn't really lift it too much, um, too much more than what it was before. So Chad was like, just come back after your nail appointment and we will finish it up then. So yeah, so this is what it's looking like right now. I love the tips, like love the tips. Anyway, let's go get our nails done. Actually, I'm really, I'm, I'm 20 minutes early. It's a process. I thought I'd make this video because I had a couple people comment on my last work trip. Like, they love my highlights. They love my color. What color is it? I'm like, it's not really color. It's bleach. But Chad mentioned that the toner is color. I don't know what that means. We'll find out when I get back to the salon later. Uh, yeah, let's go get our nails done. <laughs> a lot of work to get to this color like it's a lot of work but I love it let me give you a closer look yeah that's it my hair was a little bit cuter but I messed it up by putting on some clothes anyway that is it that's how I get to my blonde it's a lot of work and a lot of money I'll holler at you guys later mm -hmm. 